Today I'll cover a workflow using Formit Pro and Dynamo. With the 2021 Formit release, we've added a selection node so you can drive Dynamo graphs by selecting geometry in Formit. The 2021 release contains two sample graphs using selection nodes. One's called Railing Along Path and the other is called Array Along Path. I'm going to review the Array Along Path with you and I already set up some geometry in the file to get us started. First, select the Array Along Path button on the Dynamo panel. A new interface prompts you to select the graph to array. Then select the path you want to array along. The selection node does not limit you from picking invalid geometry, so you could pick a point or a face, but the graph would fail to give results. So make sure to name your selection nodes to give a prompt to the designer who will interact with your selection node. I can open and edit the embedded graph directly from Formit. I'm not going to go into depth about graph creation, but I want to point out some basics having to do with Formit and Dynamo. First, you'll see I have two selection nodes, and as I mentioned before, it's best practice to rename each one as a prompt back in the Formit view. There are several nodes that, when designated as is input from the right-click menu, become editing points in Formit's properties panel. I'll demonstrate how this works a little later. And finally, Every graph must end with the Bake to Formit node, which generates geometry inside a Formit group. Since the graph is embedded in my Formit model, I can make changes to the input from Dynamo and see it update in Formit. I can save these changes back into the model, but it's much easier to edit the parameters for inside the Formit interface. There's really no need to edit in Dynamo if the inputs are set up correctly. Here I'm editing the number of objects in the array. Additionally, I can edit the path which is inside a group in this example. Once the path has changed, I simply select the arrayed elements and click Rerun Graph to update the arrayed geometry. Here is a more advanced example of what to do with the Array Along Path Dynamo Graph. In this example, I'll use it to explore design options for the shape of a curtain wall facade that anchors a pedestrian plaza. As you can see, when I opened the embedded Dynamo graph, this script, just like the last one, is based on the select from format node. There are two selection nodes in this graph. There's no limit to the number you can have. If you want to create a new one, just duplicate an existing one or search for it in the library. This graph, just like the last example, uses a path off which geometry is based. I can update the path, then rerun the graphs to quickly update many pieces of the facade. To keep the model organized, the path is placed inside of a group. This way, I can put it on a layer and turn it off if I don't want to see the guide path for the design. Once the path is updated, I select each group of geometry that's based on the Dynamo graph and click Rerun from the Properties panel. Now all the components of my facade have been updated to follow the new path. I hope this overview was useful and I know you'll find more creative uses for the Dynamo selection node and format for your early stage design exploration.